two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Right, hello boys, girls, and all in between, my name is Lucy Michaela, and welcome to something different. Uh, today's video isn't really themed around anything specific, other than the fact that we are on a Cheshire Day Ranger, and we're going to be sort of cruising around the western half of Cheshire, so we're going to do that. We're just here at Crewe, and there's some lovely little bits of surprises, well not surprises, but some lovely treats for us. We have uh, the Midland Pullman in, and we also have Sir Nigel Grizzly in, so we're just going to get a few clips of those. Oh, I've got some photos, uh, I might catch them as we leave them. Um, yeah, so let's... Uh, do a bit of cruising around Cheshire. We're mostly in the western side, uh, hiding up into the side for a bit of the day as well. Um, it's not actually my ship, it's been arranged by K2 Videos. Check his channel in the description down below because uh, I'm just following him for the day. So as you come outside of Chester Station, it is absolutely glorious. The station building is fantastic. Uh, there's some lovely old things to do in that lovely archway there. One thing I love about Chester is this uh, unique thing they have here, which is called the City Rail Link. So that bus there is on it. Now, I don't remember if it's free or if it costs money, but essentially it's a direct link between the railway station, the town hall, and the bus interchange. Hmm. I wonder who's been using this map recently in their videos. We didn't get a clip on the train because it was a bit busy, and by a bit I mean very busy. Uh, but that was 175105, which brought us from Chester to my first time ever being in Wales. We're now in Shotton, so I've never actually been to Wales before. I have been meaning to come here many a time, and I'm going to be going to North Wales again at some point in the uh, future, some point later this year, because, well, it's lovely, and I want to get some buses and stuff as well. We're going for a little walk down to Connors Quay, which is just down the road from Shotton. It's where a couple of the bus services terminate as well. The party wanted to pop to Tesco, so I thought I'd come down and have a see what it's like. It's a really nice little town, really pleasant, and my first one in Wales. There's some flowing water for you, G. That was 150281, which is still a blue, unrefurbished class 150. That's taken us from Shotton to Upton, which is one of the three shacks on the Bidston to Wrexham line, which we're going to be clearing off today. Uh, the station, I've been told it's not that pleasant, but I am seeing mixed signage. So summary of Upton, a bit dingy. There's not anything here. Like it's a main road and some shops and a co-op. I don't know, it's just a bit, eh. The station's not that pleasant either. Could really do with some upgrades here. Maybe a bit of investment could be coming to the area. That'd be nice. We'll see. So we are now at 
Neston station, which is a lot more pleasant than Upton. It's got trees all along the one side, it's got flower beds all down the platforms, the shelters don't look like they've been beaten up and left to rot in the sun, and it's got both a Sainsbury's and an Audi, so you can't lose. Right, so we are now at Heswall. Now this station itself is pretty freaking useless to be honest. If you're looking at the maps, uh, all the bus services that come into Heswall, other side of the town, the station is absolutely tiny. Just in general, the station is rather useless. So, uh, not a lot to see here, so, but we are here for an hour because of the way the plans have to work. So, um, let's find something to do for an hour. When I said Heswall Station was in the middle of nowhere, I mean literally, this here is just the other side of the railway bridge and it's the edge of the town. I'm assuming there's some sort of history behind this, but why do they do this with stations? Like, I feel kind of bad people that live in Heswall, because if it's going to be like this, at least have a bus service here. The only bus service you get around here are like school day bus services. So I really don't see a point of this station existing. At least in some towns where this is the case, there is a bus service that links the two, but there isn't one. I don't know, it just, it just bothers me if people that live here really, because I know that Heswall does get a regular bus service, but it's the other side of the bus, uh, of the town, so... Weird, really. We'll be on 150s until a bit later on today when we have one more of them. Um, we're all about to be getting on a 507 slash 8, depending on which one it turns it is that turns up for Mersey Rail. Uh, with these soon to be replaced by the 777s, uh, which are lovely units. Um, it's nice to get some more peps in before they go, as these are now one of just two operations where there are peps still in service. And in September, they're looking to be the last ones as Southern Road for now free one freeze as well. thinking metro tunnels the northern line we're not on the underground no we're on mersey rail and this is the lovely underground section uh, we're at james street a liverpool james street uh, this is one of the few stations underground um, and it's the start and end point of the loop line line for the Wirral line uh, which then goes from here goes round via liverpool central liverpool lime street and moorfields uh, that side shows you those three stations and what you can change for each one uh, with each one linking a different line on the network to it This is platform three, which is where trains on the other side of the loop come into, and that there is platform two. Now platform two does still sometimes see use, it's used mostly on event days, and the reason that these two platforms are here and the third one is all the way over there, is the loop line was added later in the lifespan of this line. Uh, the original terminus point was here for the Mersey Railway Company, which is why there's a sign from over here, and so these platforms they used to terminate in here and then go backwards. Um, the tunnel here was then extended through and it used to continue through, I believe it went further than it does now and then it was made into a loop line and the new platform was built and then that one was decommissioned but they, they kept it in, uh, you can still access it, it's used for events days mostly. So that was 508122 which brought us from Liverpool James Street around to Liverpool Central on the other side of the loop. We're going to connect to another train here, um, but while we're at Liverpool Central, it is basically the same design for these new tunnels, which is again, the loop line was all designed at once and introduced, um, but Liverpool Central is one of the stations that came because of the loop line, from what I can remember, but I will fact check that if I'm wrong, it'll be in the description, but I believe this came because the loop line opened, before that the station didn't exist. But from here you can actually connect to various locations as after Liverpool, after Liverpool James Street, they then become the services going onwards, uh, they change the same Liverpool Central to where their final terminus point will be, uh, but they do basically do a circular, they don't stop. Uh, they don't actually terminate in Liverpool, they terminate at their end point uh, and then change drivers and stuff there. And that is 
37 and we're now at Moorfields, the next station on the Merseyrail network we're covering. There are actually quite a few on this trip. Anyway, uh, Moorfields, again, it's very similar to the other stations, so we're not going to do too much about it. It's like going to the underground stations, it's not a big deal. Um, so what I might do actually is cut back to you when we get to a station that's a bit more interesting. Uh, I'll try and get a couple of things here, but I'll mostly get to the next station and see if that's any more interesting. And if not, we'll do the same again until we find a better station. And we're now at Liverpool Lime Street, which is the main station of Liverpool, where all the main line services come in, uh, served by multiple operators. It's a fantastic station with a gorgeous building, I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but Liverpool itself is quite a lovely city to visit, and I need to do more of it, and I'm planning on doing so later this year. But definitely, if you get a chance to come to Liverpool, I do advise it. It's a great little city to visit. There's a lot of redevelopment work going on at the moment here, so it doesn't look as nice, because they're currently completely doing up the whole of the Liverpool town centre, uh, Liverpool city centre, around Liverpool uh, Lime Street station. Um, but the new staircase really opened along here and the rest is being done now. So let's have a quick look around. Okay, so as we arrive here, we are at lovely Liverpool South Parkway, which we just come off of 350, 242 and 257. And we are now here for half an hour. So I'm going to do the one thing I love doing at Liverpool South Parkway and that's going right over there to the bus station and seeing what's on the runs into John Lennon Airport and Garston. Don't mind me, just gonna do a bit of bus button. Okay, and that is 152.42 heading off there, and we're now at Runcorn Station, which is a station on the West Coast Main Line, which is actually served by Avanti West Coast and managed by them, even though it's quite a smaller station, so it's a bit weird. It's one of their weirder ones that they manage, but it recently got the addition of the Transport Foil Service Liverpool Lime Street. It was late last year when they added it on. They were trying it uh, in the early parts of the year, and it came last year. So it's a nice little change, but it's still weird seeing Transport Wales go to Liverpool. So it's taken a while for that to settle in my brain. Anyway, that's gone off to Chester, and we're waiting here for our train. And we have now reached crew where I'm going to end the video off. Now this has been quite a long one so I might have split it into two parts. If I did do, I might have done a message at the end of this, the first one. If I didn't do, welcome to the end of a very long video, most likely. Uh, I'm just going to give you the numbers of the train we just come off of and then I'll give you a quick outro. Um, it's been a lovely little video to film. It was more of a social day but I thought I'd do a film. I mean, if this kind of video works well for you guys, I will try and do more of them in the future because I've got a few more of these trips planned with the lucky KTV videos the way I'm going to tag it along with him. So I'll just get the numbers of this 350, these 350s as they pull away and then we'll do the uh, full out. Okay, and as 350, 251 and 261 make their way off into the distance there, I'm getting the video off at that point. It's been an absolutely fantastic day. Highlights of the day for me were definitely the HST and Sir Nigel Gresley next to each other here at Crew earlier today. We're now going to jump on one of the 350s down to Stoke. Um, at Stoke, I'm going to, it's not, in fact, we're going on the East Midlands Railway, sorry. That's going off, it's on its own. Uh, 350.107 if you're curious. Um, so actually, what's going to happen is I'm going to be going to Stoke uh, with these lot and then I'm going to ditch off at Stoke so I'm going to Wigan tonight to see a certain someone. Um, so I have had a really good day. Thank you very much to KTV Videos for inviting me to today. Thank you to everyone else for joining and making it a great day. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. If you enjoyed this type of video, give me some feedback because I might include these more in the vlog series that I'm going to be doing, but not as common. There'll be a few more sparse ones. Um, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I've been Lucy Michaela. This has been a Cheshire Day Ranger trail thing and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.